Ultra Video Piratio Image Magic Security Vulnerability Exposes Websites to Exploit. A recent security vulnerability was found by an end user named Stewie. And then that security exploit affects popular free and open source software Image Magic. This is a popular program that allows websites to process images such as bulk uploads or an ability to house image galleries. WordPress is a popular CMS that uses image magic. And then your website would process user submitted images such as WordPress. If so, you might be at risk of remote code execution. In other words, somebody could remotely execute code on your web server. And this exploit is presently being used in the wild. Two possible quick solutions. Verify image files begin with magic bytes before sending them to the image magic program for processing. Second possible solution is using a policy file to disable this image magic vulnerability. And then normally image magic's global policy file is found under slash Etsy slash image magic directory. And a lot of times that file is a policy.xml and then there's an example one on screen more information can be found at imagetragic.com and then image magic is aware of these potential exploits and actually recommended that one mentioned solution of using a policy file now, if you have Image Magic version 6.9.3-10 or 7.0.1-1, then those policy coders have already been secured. On your web server, you can run this command convert dash convert space dash list space policy, and then that will output, and then that way you can tell if your Image Magic policies have been rectified or not I will include a link to these URLs in this blog post at my website and at computers.com so that you can quickly access them on your own accord if you want more detailed information you can check out imagetragic.com and app post name here's that policy.xml file you would literally copy and paste this into the policy.xml file which is oftentimes in Etsy slash image magic and then that will rectify that situation and then there's another option of verifying all images begin with the magic bytes which is more convoluted and complex that's why I included a link to this website in my blog post because it can be more convoluted and complex they have frequently asked questions page and then finally image magic is aware of this problem and they recommended that stipulating these policy in the policy.mxml file could possibly fix the solution then they also show you how to verify whether your policies are correct or not and then this link is also included in my blog post adios